Today I'm going to back up and restore a Samsung Galaxy phone. You can download the software you'll need for this by going to their website. I will also put the link in the video description. Once you've installed the application, go ahead and open it up. And you'll need to make sure that you connect your phone when you're prompted to the computer. So plug in your micro USB to the phone and then plug in the USB data cable to your computer's USB port. And if it prompts you to allow any drivers to be downloaded, you want to go ahead and do that so that the switch can operate with your phone. From here, you also can see that it has given me the option to restore my phone from an iTunes backup. I will make a separate video demonstrating that also in case you're migrating from an Apple device. If you click on the More tab, you have an, a few different things you can uncheck. So if you click over here and go down to Preferences, it's going to allow you to decide in the backup items what you want to save and what you don't. So if there's something that you don't need to backup, you can just untick any of these boxes and that will of course prevent those items from being backed up onto the computer. And if and when you restore the phone, you will lose that information. So make sure you're happy with those settings before you confirm it. And then from here, I'm going to click the backup option. At some point, you should get a notification that says that you'll need to allow the device to connect to the computer. So make sure to check your handset and okay that connection in order for this process to continue. Now this is going to take quite a while, uh, depending on how much you have. This told me it only backed up about one point something or other gigabytes, but it took a very long time. So I am going to speed up the video just so we can get through the backup process. And if you see a dialog pop up on there saying that you have a device connected, don't worry about that. I'll just close that out. And now you can see that the backup has been completed, the items that were backed up to the computer and the total space used, which again was only 1.29 gigabytes, so I'm not sure why it takes so long. Just below that, you'll see that there's an exclusion showing anything that I unchecked, so that in fact was what was not backed up from the phone. Now when you go to connect your new device, we'll go ahead and go through the same process, but instead of selecting backup, of course, we are going to use the restore option. So again, make sure you have your new device connected, and if there are any necessary drivers to download, go ahead and let that process complete before you continue. And we'll go ahead and select the restore option, and this will tell you Again, that iTunes backup data file deal keeps showing up, but what we're going to do is go ahead and just click on the restore now and it will show you the file that we are restoring from. And if you get any dialogues that pop up on the phone, they'll say something along the lines of this, meaning that you need to confirm that the phone is allowed to connect to the computer in order to complete the process. Again, this is going to take a very long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up to about 30. And for some reason, when it gets in the high 90s of the percentage restored, it seems to take a very long time. I'm not sure why that is. And here you can see that we have a total of 13 minutes, 52 seconds in order for the restore to be performed. These are the items that were installed on the phone. So anything that you had backed up should now be on your new device. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews. And most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section and thanks for watching.